So all the attention at the moment is on Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba. He says that he's happy at Old Trafford at the moment, but recent quotes of him saying that Real Madrid would be a dream club for him to play for. So the question is, Paul Pogba, will he stay at Manchester United? And if he goes, can the Red Devils cope without his presence in their team? Pogba's been massive for them, but only really since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was placed in caretaker charge until the end of the season will he be able to keep these performances going for a different manager or is it just a little spell because it's a shop window for well him? there's that question mark hanging over him James because of course the performances were nothing short of poor when he was uh, under Jose Mourinho of course Old Trafford yes there might have been mitigating circumstances for that but the United fans will probably be wondering what we're going to get from Pogba next season. The temptation is there for Manchester United to sell him. Real Madrid certainly would be interested. And Pogba has already admitted that he would love to play under Zinedine Zidane, a fellow French ace, of course, who, of course, shined in midfield as well, like Pogba did during his playing career. So he is interested, it would appear. If United were to cash in now, of course, you could probably get about three or four players with the money that you're going to get for Pogba. They could probably find another midfield replacement. I suppose it's, you look to where you would get that replacement from, James. And obviously, everybody knows you've got the money from a Pogba sale. So United might be best doing their business before they decide to sell him. Potentially, yeah. I mean, you're going to, they're going to warrant over £100 million, aren't they, to, to sell Pogba. Mm. They bought him for just over 80 so obviously a little bit on top of that. Mm. I'm looking at two players I'm kind of picking out. They're both Croatia internationals. The first is Luka Modric, and then you've got the possibility of a player plus, uh, plus cash swap deal there. I mean, Modric, I think he might want to come back to the Premier League. Mm -hmm. He might enjoy, you know, he had a good time at Tottenham. Now at Man United, I think that would be a good move for him. Ivan Rakitic is another one there. The Barcelona man, there's a lot of rumours that Barca are looking to get rid of the midfielder. So that's could potentially two players they bring in. If you sold Pogba over there, you get both of those Croatians in, they settle straight into the team. Yeah, I mean, obviously Modric has got Premier League experience under his belt with Spurs, but they both have the look of Premier League players about them. They like playing at a fast pace. They're good and comfortable on the ball. And certainly United would look a, a very useful outfit with either of those replacing Pogba in the midfield. I think there are probably other options that they consider as well. Um, and, you know, there's still a big lure of Manchester United to come and play for them, even if... You know, don't disrespect Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but he's not a Zinedine Zidane or potentially a Mourinho when it comes to luring players in. They are going to see where United are going in terms of youth development and how much money they're putting into the club as well in order to get them back challenging for the Premier League title. So I think there's enough of a law there for top players to think, yes, Manchester United is a good destination for me. Yeah, I just think it's a cheeky move as well from Pogba to mm. do that, I think, with, with, the, with the quotes. But I think it is a little bit cheeky. But we'll have to see and wait up where he goes. Will he stay at Man United or will he leave in the summer?